and that you're so transparent about being sensitive because there's so many people who understandably uh, have survived so much and feel the need to protect themselves, but we've numbed out and desensitized and the connections are severed and our sensitivity and alertness, awareness, and the opportunity to awaken to things has all been just kind of tapped down. Right. Yeah. And I, I love actually talking about being a sensitive person because I think it's such a superpower Mm -hmm. and it's, it wasn't a superpower that I recognized growing up. It felt like it was a handicap, but now I really see it as a superpower. And I absolutely love talking to and working with other sensitive people because I end up being just totally blown away uh, by, by their capacity, by what they see, by what they experience, by what they create. And the journey, I think as a sensitive on this planet at this time is to learn how to work with our sensitivity as a gift Mm. and to come back home to ourselves, to value ourselves, to care for ourselves. I call it a journey because it's hard. It's like (laughs) not inbred for a lot of us to do that. And so, yeah, in the book, I talk about how the earth is sentiment and conscious and the earth actually is very invested and cares Mm -hmm. in our homecoming to our own selves. I mean, Mm -hmm. we literally are the earth. We are a creation of Mm -hmm. this planet. And so when we deny the nature of who we are, is it any wonder that we would feel disconnected from nature as a whole? So coming home to our own nature is how we remake that connection and become, again, a part of what I call the dream of the earth. Mm -hmm. 